Hey, what's up, Reefers? So the past week has been really draining on my wallet. Do you know how sometimes there's nothing you want, and then all of a sudden, everything that you're looking for just kind of show up all at once? Um, now, I thought about just kind of sitting back and taking my time, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, if I pass this by, when would it come again? And also, I mean, I'll spend maybe the same amount, if not even more, um, the next time it comes around. So I figure, okay, whatever. Let me just get whatever um, that came that I, was, I has been looking for. So right off the bat, you'll see something really, really bright. And right there is the Kryptonite Candy King Coral. Um, so I have always been looking for a nice co mini colony of candy cane. And I'm really, I really like the bright green version. Um, I think back then it's called like nuclear green. But I haven't seen anything for sale for a reasonable price until um, last week uh, during the weekend. Somebody on my local reform, Wamas, posted um, that is selling a, a small colony of kryptonite um, candy cane for sixty dollars because because it um, outgrew his tank or his uh, nano tank. So. Uh, I immediately talked to him, I PayPal'd him the amount to hold, and then uh, we made plan to meet up. It took a couple tries to meet up because apparently we were both really busy, but eventually I was able to pick up the coral. And look at this guy. When I first got him, it was kind of skinny because it was not happy in the bag, but um, it's been in my tank for actually just a day and a half, and it's kind of inflated, and now it's in all its glory, and it's really, really bright. I did not expect it to be this bright. It's like highlighting yellow slash green. And it's actually one of the brightest coral in my tank right now, which is kind of odd and weirdly positioned. But So that's number one. And the second thing that kind of came, kind of like two days later, as you may have noticed in the back, right? Uh, my Australian Go Torch seems to have tripled in size. And that's because um, it just so happened that another guy from my local reef club happened to be... Well, he broke up a nice colony of Aussie Gold Torch. And he has single head, double head, and three heads for sale. And you know I love, like, this family. Like, the, the you know, the Frog Spawn, Hammer, and Torch. And in particular, the Gold Torch is kind of like my Holy Grail. Uh, because they, they have a nice, really, really nice vibrant orange. And then it has a lot of... A lot of orange, just not a little bit. So when I see that, I'm like, okay, gotta have it, gotta have it. So I ended up picking up a three head. That's uh, the piece in the front for $110. Uh, I didn't even haggle because the price is so good. Just for reference, the piece in the back I picked up from um, BRK. It was actually in the $100 bin, but they were running like a buy one get one free promo. So I it, I picked something else up as well. So the the one in the back is the equivalent of $50. So the one in the front doesn't really look it, but it's actually three heads in there. Um, it's one ten. I think it's a. I think it's a great deal, and they don't come around too often, at least on the East Coast. Um, yeah. Uh, also for reference, he the same member is selling a single head for forty dollars. So I think his his price is a uh, really really reasonable. So yeah, hundred ten and then plus sixty. Um, yeah. <laughs> Rough weekend. So, if you remember from my previous videos, I always mentioned uh, my plan for aquascaping, uh, that I wanted something right there. I was thinking about uh, elegance or something, um, either SPS or something flowy. I never thought I would be able to get um, Gold Torch for a relatively reasonable price for it, what it is. And I think it fits the space well. It adds some motion, it adds some, some different color besides green or red. So I think it's, it's great, I'm happy. It's kind of pricey, but I'm happy. And let's give you a little update on the Yasha Gobi. It's getting a lot bolder, although I think he, he's kind of, well, she now. I, now I can recognize that she, she's a she. She's tucked in for bed. She actually found a little hole um, right in that little ar arc. And sometimes I'll do work on my really messy couch, and I'll just kind of look at my tank here. 
and she will actually swim out from in here. There's a little little cave right there. I'll swim out and just kind of hang out, hover over here and hang out. And she's really bold. She doesn't seem to be bothered by people at all. Um, I would be right in front of the tank and she would just like do her own thing swimming around. So it's great. It looks like she's adjusting to the tank nicely. So yeah, in that little arch is where her burrow is. And I was able to tell that my Yasha is a she because um, after doing some research, uh, people are saying that the male typically have um, black markings at the tip of his pectoral fins. Now, after the Yasha Gobi has been in captivity for a while, the male does lose this, that black mark, but for wild caught, at least, um, the, the uh, pectoral fins does have that black tip or black mark. It's pretty obvious when you pull up some um, images of Yasha Gobi pairs. So, I guess I'm just kind of waiting for uh, Diver Dan or Live Aquaria um, to get some more Yasha Gobi in stock. And um, I've been hounding the Diver Dan page every day at 6 o'clock. And speaking of Diver Dan, I did one of my, well, it's not my biggest purchase for this tank, but it's, it's, it's a really big purchase for me. And it's kind of like a risky purchase as well. Um, and that shipment is coming in, on Tuesday. Right now is Thursday night, almost Friday. And like I mentioned in my earlier video, um, uh, the ultimate plan for this aquarium, this cube aquarium, is essentially a clamfish and anatomy tank that is meant to be the center, of the center focus. So I'll leave it at that and on Tuesday I'll share with you guys what I picked up and I definitely did some upgrade as well uh, in preparation. You see this guy, this is uh, Eheim, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, it's actually the, I think it's like, is it what, what, what model is it? This is a model step up for mine. It's a universal 2400 but that's actually not it. I don't know, I gotta open it up and look at the model number. But basically it'll double the flow of what my return is, um, my main pump return. Because remember, um, I was saying that uh, the return is actually really, the flow is really slow. It's almost like a drizzle. Dr drizzle. And um, I checked the pipe and the tubing, they all seem to be clean, so I guess the, the head, there's like too much headroom. Like the vertical space that the water has to pump up is a little bit too much for the current pump. So I pick up a pump that's about uh, double, <laughs> double its flow rate and I'll plug it in and see how it goes. So we get a lot more water flow coming out from the return nozzle in order to create a more chaotic flow. And I have also moved the gyre a little bit to the left. So it's almost blasting the frog spawn, um, at least for now. Uh, but come Tuesday, depending on what happens, I may need to move the frog spawn or even frag the frog spawn to kind of uh, make room. So yeah, the tank look is going to change a little bit. But that is the ultimate goal for this tank, so I'm really happy in that direction. Except everything just come, came all at once. I feel like I'm kind of caught off guard, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, if I pass this up, who knows when I'm going to have that chance again, so... Time to be an inappropriate reaver, right? So that is my update for this week. Um, later on in the week, if I do another video before uh, before Tuesday or even Wednesday, I'll probably talk about specific corals um, that I picked up because I'm super, I'm especially excited for the uh, gold frog spawn. That's like my holy grail for um, uh, for the like this family. And although I just see the guy that was selling me um, the golden froxmon, he he did have like a um, super nice Indo um, gold warhammer. That thing is a beast. But yeah, that definitely would not fit the tank. So I'll wait for the, uh, uh, I'll let that be my uh, dangling carrot to upgrade my tank to something larger in the future. All right, well, I was hoping to show you guys a Yasha Gobi um, before the video ends, but look like she is, she has gone to bed. Yeah, 
Oh, I forgot to mention, I got a sun coral too, but you guys saw it in the last video. And it's kind of plump because I just took him out of the tank to feed him in a um, Tupperware. So maybe I'll do a video about that in the future as well, once I get get a better handle on feeding the sun coral. Alright, well, hope you guys have an excellent weekend, and I will talk to you guys later.